How did he view him in Spain as actually as a pure footballer? Because there's, there's almost that sense with Haaland sometimes that, and I don't, I don't, I don't mean to sound right, that he's not actually a footballer. He's just a pure finisher. I think they don't actually view him as a footballer. They view him as like a machine. He is just genuinely like the whole aura around him when people talk about Haaland is like a robot. He's like this huge, um, almost like a Terminator, goal scoring Terminator. Uh, and that's the, the language that's used around him. That's the discourse around him is like he's not, uh, the, he's not Mbappe. Mbappe is much more of a footballer. Haaland is just someone who is going to come here and score an unbelievable amount of goals. I say come here because he was obviously linked with Real Madrid and those links won't go away ever because they sell newspapers but um yeah the, the view of him is that he is he is just this machine who will always score goals i'm trying to think about plays in the past you mentioned there, like I, I played against some really big name plays in the premier league and, and international football and i can't actually think of a player that i can really compare him with um and 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 that's the hard thing i mean because he's got that element of just an out and out goal scorer but he's quick he's strong um i mean shearer was a great out and out goal scorer he was strong, but not the same. You know, just different. Henri obviously is a very different player. There was, there was no one. Van Nistelrooy was a purely finisher, right? But he was a bit gangly, a little bit scraggly. You know, a bit scruffy, maybe in the way he played. I think probably without trying to be. You know, I'm not trying to be uh, uh, detrimental towards him because he's a phenomenal player. So I, I, I think it's really difficult to compare him. But I, obviously, you know, as, as numbers don't lie. First and foremost, scoring goals. Don't lie. The physical ability, physical presence, uh, his ability on the ball, obviously, is where it is because of how, how a phenomenal player he is. What I want to see, though, is I want to see him do it at an international level. I just don't know whether we'll ever see him at a World Cup really, really having an opportunity. Like It's a bit like Poland and, and Robert Lewandowski. You know, it's, it's that carrying a nation. Can he take them further? We've seen individual players carry nations before in Cristiano Ronaldo, whether it's Messi and so forth, and over the years, many, many more. But will a striker of that ability, that type, even though Lewandowski is a different type of player, he's not able to do it with Poland. But then you might argue, right? Miguel, would you argue and say that Poland get to where they get to? They get to World Cups because of Lewandowski, because he is so good? Uh, Norway plays Spain on Sunday, a game I'm actually at in Oslo. And, be, and I, I maybe feel I can personally come to this from two perspectives. On one side, I've got Spain. On the other side, as you can tell from the, the accent and the surname, Ireland. And Ireland had a similar dynamic with this. If maybe not quite well. We had Robbie Keane for years, who got so many goals for us. And I think really was crucial to get us to the playoff in 2010. But before that, the, the massive dependency was on Roy Keane. And there's always this weird dynamic then where kind of, it's a, a, a player dropped into a situation where he's clearly you know, better, like, better than the context he's in. And they, there's always these weird kind of debates about that, because they, they, they clearly lift the team they're, they're in. But then there's always this strange, and I've seen this so many times with players like this, where should they be doing more? Do they really do it for their country? And obviously the, kind of, um, the, the, the level of the players around them just influences that. Um, and like, it's amazing, even Norway, that they've got themselves into a little bit of trouble I mean, because the, the Euros, not that it's quite a gimme, but it's 24 teams. It's almost half of Europe that qualifies. Uh, they're maybe a little bit unfortunate that Scotland have suddenly been on this rise um, in their group. But given they've got Haaland and Odegaard, you would expect a bit more. And some, Sunday's game is actually huge. But yeah, there's, I, I mean, maybe actually part of that is also, because as you said, that Lewandowski is a player, or he's sort of striker that can kind of, okay, not so much recently at Barcelona, because he's a bit more physically limited now. But there was more range to his game that could kind of drive... Whereas Haaland is so dependent on service, I think, especially given we talk about how, how little he touches the football. Um, that, is that an issue at Norway? Uh, we probably seem to need a bit more, but certainly until they qualify, it's going to be a debate. You wouldn't think it would be an issue with Odegaard behind him, right? You, you wouldn't think... And I'm not saying, you know, the, the, the rest of the Norway, Norway side is... is, is you know, they're no slouches, right? It's just for some reason that combination is not as effective, right? Did you enjoy that? There's so much more. So why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app?